Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two. With this your daily go get em ism number eight hundred and fifty six for February fifth, two thousand and seventeen. Tonight, tonight we're talking about street knowledge versus book knowledge, but not necessarily in that context. What we're really talking about is which one is better for us to be able to to get move closer to our liberation. How do we get free? Um, do we depend on the people who have 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 gone through a conventional formal education? The people who've gotten a conventional formal education are they the ones who hold the key to getting us out of our mentally slave condition, or is it our street hustlers, our our people who have life knowledge, street knowledge? The ones who are in the trenches, the ones that are living this life. What do you think? I mean, I guess when you get get down to it, they both definitely have their contribution. But being as though they don't always come together, like many of our problems exist since whenever, but which one do you respect more? Which ones are you close closer to? Which ones can you access better? Now on the on the I'll do the the conventional, the conventional uh, uh, formal education one. Now, formal education just means that you've gone to college. It means that you've gone to college and you probably have degrees and advanced degrees. So anywhere between a, an associate's degree all the way up to a PhD, that is a formal education. Unfortunately, a formal education is not a high school diploma. It does mean that you know you completed. You completed your high school, um, your uh, primary education. But as far as as far as saying that you have a formal education, normally we're talking about college. Now, a lot of people who who go to college, especially college nowadays, you know, we still we we still have learned the same stuff. Um, you know, you take your you take your your uh, your classes that go towards your major. And you have your electives, and um, and hopefully, hopefully nowadays you get some training that goes along with your formal education because it's the better way to be able to make it in the workforce. Before, before when you went to college, it was pretty much a slam dunk that you want you want to get out and and find a decent job just because you had a degree. It was like a degree was like getting your foot in the door. It was like having a having a, a a uh, hall pass to roam the high, uh, the the hallways. Nowadays, it's not exactly like that. There are plenty of people who have degrees, but are unable to find jobs and unable to find decent jobs. But forget about that for a second. You know what does what does having a formal education do for our people? Our people who are struggling for liberation. Our people who are trying to escape the the chains of mental slavery. How do they affect change for us positively? I mean, do they at all? There's a good chance that many people who go to college think that they've gotten theirs, and and you know those uh, those other uh, people that they left behind in the hood or whatever don't matter. That's one way of looking at it, and some people do look at it that way. I don't choose to look at it that way. I don't choose to look at it that way because I know that the people who have had the formal education are the ones who write the books. They are the ones who who get the information, the new information. And, and they are the ones who are going to um, bring the information to us if they choose to do so. So we definitely need our scholars. We need the people with the formal education. We need them. And there are a lot of them. Now, now whether, whether you are on the streets or whether you're in the classrooms, if you don't care about our people and you don't care about our struggle or you're not aware that you're in it, then you're not going to work towards it. That's just, that's just a fact. Now, when you, when you talk about our people with the street knowledge, now, people with street knowledge have the same, have the same, how can I put it? They have the same type of concerns as far as I'm concerned as the people in, uh, that have gone to college. And that if they care, then they'll work towards, number one, getting an education that will rival a formal education. Because life experience means a lot. And if you have had life experience traveling the world or, or making sure that you understand the, the small world around you, your environment, 
then you can teach somebody how to how to survive out there. Now, teaching somebody how to survive and teaching them how to break the chains of mental slavery are different. So, if you have street knowledge, or if you know, um, if you haven't had a formal education, but you read a lot because it's very very possible. You read a lot. You you study a lot. You watch a lot of um, positive YouTube videos or whatever. Um, you 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 attend seminars. You travel the world. You meet people. You talk to people. You get involved socially and politically. You give back. You know, like you see the things that we need in in our community and the world around us. The things that that will will get us a little uh, one, at least one step further because you're right there in it. Then that's very valuable. One of the problems that we have with people who are on the streets is that many of them are really, really the 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 victims of the mental slavery worse worse than everybody else. I mean, the, without a formal education, many of us, many of our our street soldiers, to be quite honest with you, some of them can't read. And if you can't read, how are you going to teach somebody else to read? And for our struggle, I don't care what anybody says. We have to know how to read and write well. Maybe not write well. Some people have been able to get around that. But you need to be able to read because that's the way that we can communicate non-verbally. And there will be times when we have to keep quiet. <clears throat> so it's important that we understand, we understand the world around us and we understand the challenges that are being presented to us. And, you know, just like I said, if... Um, if you care, whether you have a formal education or whether you are a street soldier, and 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 don't get me don't get me wrong when I say a street soldier, I'm not just talking about I'm not just talking about drug 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 dealers, pimps, um, um, hookers, uh, I don't know exotic dancers, whatever you know, um, people who do their thing out there, because there are people who have who hustle legally in the streets. You know, when, we, when you talk about street soldiers, you also talk about the Hebrew Israelites. You also talk about the nation of Islam. You're also talking about like people, people like, like Brother Polite, um, even Umar Johnson at one time. Um, you're also talking about, even though Umar Johnson definitely has a formal education, he has a PhD, but, but um, you're, you're also talking about people like, like uh, Asad Netta and, and, uh, and, uh, um, you know, young Pharaoh and, and, and the other cat, uh, uh, Seti, Seti, um, my man, Seti, for some reason, his, uh, his first name is, uh, <laughs> Sarah, 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 Sarah Suit and Seti, there you go, there you go, anyway, anyway, we're talking about people like that, people who don't have a formal education, but who have studied under the elders and are out there, right there in the trenches, trying to educate us, trying to, you know, um, um, free our minds a little bit and get us a little bit further. Now, none of them are po perfect, not by a long, not by a long shot, but none of the none of the formal education scholars are perfect or anywhere near that either. So we have to kind of work with what we have and do the best that we can with what we got. So, with that being said, man, you know what I'm saying. With that being said. If you care about your people and you care about yourself and your own advancement, then you'll do what's necessary in order to be able to get yourself from this level up to that level. So we don't have to choose between between uh, book knowledge and street knowledge. We shouldn't have to do that. You know, truth to the matter is we, they both have to come together because they're both they are both binded by those chains of mental slavery, and we and they both want to get up out of that. And neither one of them will get any further if they ignore the other or if they only concentrate on their own struggle. We all have to get free, not just one of us or some of us. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, when you start talking about book knowledge versus street knowledge or whatever, you don't have to choose between the two. They are both relevant. They both matter. And they are if if they care, then they'll both be working towards trying to make things better for both of us.
The Daily Go Get Emism show is every single day, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number is 319 527 6199. Call it dollar. <laughs> Listen online, blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun 752. Peace. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>